Well, hello there and welcome back to my channel and another episode of my sunscreen review series. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the Bondi Sands Face Sunscreen SPF 50. And if you're new, I started this series to find my perfect sunscreen and I describe my perfect sunscreen as one that doesn't leave a white cast, wears well under makeup, and doesn't break me out. And if you are into beauty, lifestyle, and skincare videos, make sure that you subscribe to my channel and give this video a like if you end up enjoying it. Now jumping right in, like I said, we are talking about the Bondi Sands SPF 50 face sunscreen. It is a daily moisturizing sunscreen with SPF 50 broad spectrum protection. It is very water resistant, fragrance free, reef friendly, and it also claims to give 72 hour hydration. Some of the other claims include being suitable for sensitive skin, non-greasy, fast absorbing, invisible finish, sulfate and paraben free, and it also contains vitamin E. It is also non-cosmogenic. I picked it up for about $9.99 at Walgreens and you get 2.53 fluid ounces in the bottle, making it the most affordable sunscreen on my channel thus far. And now that I have the details out of the way, I'm gonna go ahead and demo the product for you. So this is what my skin is looking like after my skincare, minus my sunscreen. So texture wise, the product is not quite as watery as the Sun Bum, uh, but also not quite as uh, thick as the Garnier Fructis one, but I will say it is very moisturizing. It also has that very, very like a light <laughs> color to it. So of course I was very, very nervous when I tried this one as well like most of the sunscreens that I try on my channel, but I was actually very pleasantly surprised with how fast this one just went away. But let me go ahead and show you. You can just see how easy it's absorbing into the skin. And also it's, it's very like slippery. I felt like the sun bum one, even though it was more watery, it didn't move as easily on the skin as this one. And I think that um, this quality of the sunscreen is really nice because it makes it easier to just glide the product all over your skin and create that film of coverage. All right, so there it is. Uh, massaged into the skin and like I said I was really surprised with how fast this one just absorbed into the skin with how quickly the white color went away now it says it's an invisible finish I think I would agree with that I think it definitely goes away just like a typical lotion does like a body lotion on your body I, I truly don't see a white cast on my skin and I would argue that this one, more so than any of the other ones, aside from the Unseen Sunscreen, of course, would be the one to least likely leave a white cast. So I gotta say, this, this sunscreen in general really surprised me, really impressed me in general. All right, now that you've seen it up close, I'm gonna go ahead and put my makeup on, show you how it looks under makeup, and then give you my final thoughts. Alrighty, I'm back, and this is what the sunscreen looks like under makeup. I think it looks great under makeup, especially with me having dry skin. Having a nice moisturizing base kind of eliminates the need for any primer and it makes sure that my makeup goes on smoothly. I agree with the claims of it being non-greasy and fast absorbing because I don't feel it very heavy sitting on my skin. Like I said earlier, it does have that little bit of a sunscreen scent, but that doesn't bother me at all. And aside from that, there's no added fragrance. So if that's something that is important to you, then you don't have to worry about that with this one. So for my final thoughts, I definitely recommend this one especially if you have dry skin I do think that maybe if somebody with oily skin you might not like the glow that it gives the skin and you also might not like that super moisturizing feeling but um, even so it might be worth checking out to use just as your moisturizer with a sunscreen in it but I know that my dry skin loves it and it looks beautiful under makeup and I have been testing this out for a couple weeks and I can confirm that it does not break me out I've actually had such great luck with all the sunscreens I've tried out so far. Well, anyways, that wraps up my video, and I do appreciate you watching and supporting my sunscreen review series and my channel. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye.